guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I don't even need to give you an intro. You know why we are here. I want to address some of the issues that my customers are having with my first launch of my brand, Jaclyn Cosmetics, and my lipsticks. Number one, let's start with the expired accusation. My lipsticks did not go into mass production until the same month that I actually launched my brand. It was only a couple weeks before, a couple weeks prior to my launch, that we started actual mass production. I have been working on my components for five years straight to get it perfect, but just because I've been working on a component, you guys have seen that does not mean that there's an actual lipstick inside of it that I kept on a shelf and sold to you guys. My lipsticks are not moldy. They are not hazardous. They are not contaminated. They are not unsafe for you in any way, shape, or form. Every single ingredient in my lipstick is new and it is FDA approved. And again, I will give you proof right here if you guys wanna look over these documents in depth and tear them apart, you go right ahead and see that they are not contaminated Every single ingredient is FDA approved and they are not expired. I wanna ease your minds with that before even getting into all the nitty gritty stuff of this video. One thing I wanna to touch on is the texture and the grittiness that you guys are seeing in your lipsticks. What this is caused from is the humongous vats holds all of your lipstick and it like spins like this and mixes everything up. That vat is not breaking down all of my raw materials because we produce so many lipsticks so quickly. Because my lipstick component is a silver, shiny, almost metal-like material, my lab, instead of using a standard glove that they would use in the lab, they decided to use white cotton gloves. They're like fluffy white gloves. Second we saw this, we changed to different gloves that will not be giving this issue whatsoever. On top of that, they were cleaning my vats, which is the big humongous bucket that has my batches inside of it. They were cleaning those vats with like this white fiber almost towel going through it not what you guys deserve. So again, contact me and my team. We will get you a full refund and a new perfect bullet that does not look like that. Looking at emails, the biggest issue and the biggest complaint is actually the melting issue. It's actually 80% of our complaints. But what people are experiencing is it's showing up in the mail and it's almost having like a little sweat mark, like a little like circular sweat mark or like little like sweat dots. And then when you swatch it, the lipstick kind of leans to the side and then it's got like a little, little line on it because it's a very creamy, very emollient based product. So you really have to make sure that it's fully cooled down before using. I say thank you very much to everybody who has come forth because I did an interview about my brand a couple months ago and that's what I said in this interview. I said that my number one thing is I want my subscribers to be honest with me.